do your research and be clean because I'm not eating poop. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a bearded dragon video as you can see from my hoodie. And with me, Cheesy, hi! I'm a part of the nub club, everybody. <laughs> Hey, hey, you don't do that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be answering commonly asked bearded dragon questions for you all. Now, I posted on my Snapchat and on my Instagram, send me your questions, and nobody did except for one. So, thank you. You're my loyal friend. Y'all suck. So, I'm going to search online commonly asked bearded dragon questions and I'm going to answer them. Itchy's looking at himself. <laughs> Most of these are related to diet. There are some specific questions for bearded dragons and then there's dragons kept as pets questions. So let's just start off with the food and diet. Um, <clears throat> what do bearded dragons eat? They can eat a variety of things. They are omnivores, meaning that they can eat meat as well as vegetables or plants. When bearded dragons are young, they should eat more meat. And then as they get older, you should transfer them over to vegetables. Should, being <laughs> a operative word. <clears throat> Second question is, can you overfeed a bearded dragon? Yes, but... More or less, bearded dragons know when to stop eating, at least he does, so he doesn't get overfed. He just closes his eyes until I stop trying to feed him. <laughs> can bearded dragons eat apples? Yes, they can, except you have to peel the skin off before you can feed them, like the little meat inside. I don't know what you call it, the actual fruit. Um, the skin is poisonous bearded dragons. So, can they eat bananas? Yes, they can eat bananas. Blueberries, they can eat blueberries. Broccoli, they can eat broccoli. Cabbage, I'm not exactly sure of. Um, anything you're not sure of, I would look it up or just don't feed them, just in case. Carrots, they can eat carrots. Celery, yes, I think. I've just never fed him celery. Chicken, don't feed them chicken. Don't feed them anything human food wise. Um, cilantro, I think so. Yeah. Corn, not sure. Cucumber, I think so. Dandelion says yes. If you have any unsprayed, like pesticide wise, herbicide, herbicide, <laughs> there's a difference. Spray, non sprayed, herbicide, dandelions, you can feed them. I just, my parents spray all their dandelions, so he hasn't eaten any, but they can eat dandelions. They can also eat earthworms, but it says to be careful or like to make sure you know what your earthworms have eaten. What? Um, but I just feed them when I have nothing else. And I fed it, I fed him earthworms more or less night crawlers when he was little because I went on vacation and I didn't bring enough worms. <laughs> I'm a horrible mother. <laughs> Um, moving on, can they eat fish? No, they can't eat fish. Again, don't feed them any non-human food or human food. Can they eat fruit? Yes, it depends on what fruit. Bearded dragons cannot eat anything acidic, so no pineapple, no oranges. Okay. Um, <clears throat> why are you popping? It's been very territorial lately. Can they eat grapes? Yes, if you peel the skin off, they can eat just like the fruit inside. Grasshoppers? I don't think so. I would have to look that up. Green beans, yes. Kale, yes. Um, mealworms, yes. Not a staple diet, mind you. Um, mice, they can eat pinkies, but I myself have not fed Michi pinkies. So, um, mushrooms, just don't do it. Oranges, no. Parsley, yes. Peaches, yes. If you peel it, I think they can eat peaches. If you peel it, again, please look this up before you actually don't take my word for it. Be safe. Um, pineapple? No. Plums? I think yes. Romaine lettuce? 
do not feed your bearded dragon lettuce. It causes constipation and diarrhea. That's a weird combination, but it actually makes sense because there's a lot of water making it diarrhea and then when they diarrhea there's constipation because <laughs> there's no water left. Stop it. Hey! 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 <laughs> oh my god. You grumpy now? Hold on, he has to mark his territory. Okay, that's it. Oh, can they eat watermelon? They can eat watermelon. Moving on to specific bearded dragon questions. Um, can bearded dragons hear? Yes, they can. <laughs> Michi can hear me every day. Yes, they can hear. <clears throat> they can also see full spectrum of color, like humans can. They see everything that we see. Can bearded dragons swim? Yes, they can. Um, I think I read this somewhere that when we were exporting them from Australia, some of them jumped ship and swam to shore. So, I'm, yeah, they can swim. But just don't throw them into the water expecting them to swim long dis distances because they can only swim short distances. Um, can, do bearded dragons bite? Um, I wanna say no <laughs> because I have purposely been bitten but I don't mean to say this to scare people away because it was totally my fault and I knew I was gonna get bitten. Because one time this little lovely baby tried to eat that. And that's poisonous to both cats and bearded dragons. And so I had to shove my finger in his mouth and scoop it out. And I did get bitten, but that was my fault. It was to save him, so. But other than that, when they're being defensive, they don't bite. They just flatten themselves, puff their beard out, and open their mouth. They don't attack. Unless it's another bearded dragon. But you don't look like a bearded dragon, <laughs> so you're good. <laughs> um, do bearded dragons carry salmonella? Yes, they do. But it's only in their poop. Many people are under the false assumption that bearded dragons are covered in salmonella. That's not true. If you have horrible hygiene for your bearded dragon and have poop covered everywhere, then they do have salmonella on them. But if you have good hygiene and you wash them every time they poop, they're not gonna, you're not gonna get salmonella from kissing your bearded dragon. Which everybody finds weird and I'm like, do your research and be clean because I'm not eating poop. If you eat their poop, you'll get salmonella. As gross as that is, it's true. Um, do bearded dragons climb? Yes, they do. They like to climb. They like to be in high places. I have a little shelf on my window. This Michi loves window. He should just marry the window. <laughs> do bearded dragons have teeth? Yes, they have little non noms and they're cute, but they hurt. <laughs> so be careful. Um, do bearded dragons hibernate? They do hibernate, but they do brumation, which is, I think, it's just another fancy word for hibernation. Their body shuts down and it doesn't like, okay, I could talk about like the actual specificities of it. <laughs> but I don't wanna, but they do go into brumation. Do bearded dragons lose their tails? No, they don't. Do not <laughs> cut off your bearded dragon's tail thinking that it's gonna regrow because it's not. I'd be left with the stump. You stop, please. I'm trying to film a video. Hey, I'm talking. Did you just slap me? The audacity of this child, hey. He has been in such a mood today, like dude. I'm trying to film a video, please. Just last a few more minutes. Do bear dragons shed? Yes. Michi was fussy last night and the night before that and the night before that because he is currently shed. What? is on your belly. What is this? Oh my god. Stop it. Is that poop? Ow. Ow. Stop! I'm trying to show a new shed! Richie's currently shedding on his stomach. Here. It's not gonna focus. That's part of- That was part of the shed. I need to go to bed. So does Michi. You can see this. Don't pull off your bearded dragon shed unless you give them a bath and it's nice and soft, okay? Okay. He always does a 
have to really let them go. Do bear dogs smell? Um, there is a poop smell that they have when, like, people don't care for their dragons and there's poop all over them. I don't do that because I clean my dragon. Then there's a I need a bath smell, <laughs> which he gets sometimes. And then there's the fresh after bath smell. And he currently smells like a I need a bath smell. <laughs> so I'm gonna go give him bath sometime. <laughs> yeah, the fresh smell. <laughs> what are bearded dragon predators? Mostly birds. If your bearded dragon's outside and they go like this, they're looking for birds because birds are their number one predator. Next to cats. <laughs> bearded dragons kept as pets questions. Do bearded dragons make good pets? I would say yes, if you are old enough, if you're responsible enough, if you have money, if you do your research. Yes, they're good pets. And a lot of the times people don't do any of them. <sighs> do your research, okay? Okay, now that I got that way, how much are bearded dragons? Depends on the species, depends on where you get them. You can adopt, you can get from a pet shop, and you can get them from a breeder. I tried to go with a breeder, and in one of my earlier videos, I discussed... Oh, that didn't happen. So... I went with a pet shop, and I thankfully did not get a disease-ridden dragon. Because we all know that things that come from pet dumb are from mills like puppy mills, just dragon mills. And I've seen videos of dragon mills, horrible conditions, horrible, I would, nope. Okay, moving on. Um, how much are baby bearded dragons? I didn't answer the question. <laughs> My bearded dragon was $64 from PetSmart. He was two months old. That answers the next one from Pet Dumb. Mine was $64, but regularly on sale, 74, which I think is too much for like the health they sell them in. Um, where can I get bear dragons? Again, breeder, pet shop. Don't do pet shop, please. I just did it because it was my last resort. Breeders, adoptions, pet or pet dumb. Just pet stores in general. Um, never gonna be sponsored, and that's okay. How big does a bearded dragon tank need to be? Baby to juvenile, 40 gallons. Juvenile to adult, preferably 120 gallons. I only have a 40 gallon because I cannot upgrade at this moment. That's why if you cannot upgrade, you need to have them out as much as possible because if you leave them in there while they're growing, it's gonna stunt their growth and you don't want that. So keep them out as much as you can while they're growing and then just put them in their tank when you go to bed or when they're sleeping. How to make a bearded dragon vivarium? I don't know. That's on you. Um, how long do bearded dragons live? Seven to 10 years. Michi's only two, so he's got a ways to go. In good health in good health, seven to 10 years. How big do bearded dragons get? A adult sized bearded dragon is 18 to 20 inches. Michi is 8.5, 18.5 inches. So he is an adult. I don't know the specifics of the other ones. I know when I when he was like three or four months old, I had a chart of what inches were like what age month wise. So I don't know, you can look up. Can bearded dragons live together? Do not put bearded dragons together in the same tank, okay? Because they're going to fight each other, especially males, and they're going to eat each other, okay? Do not, do not, do not. The only reason I would accept or allow two bearded dragons in a tank is number one, if they're opposite gender, and number two, if you're breeding them, okay? Only for breeding, nothing else. Last question, do bearded dragons live with other lizards? Previous segment. Do not <laughs> Do not put bearded dragons together in the same tank, okay? Just, just don't, just don't. Yeah. And then a question my good friend asked me. Now I can't remember because it's on my phone. I think the question was, what do I feed my bearded dragon if I can't find anything outside? <sighs> In my experience, clover. They can feed them, you can feed them clover. They love clover, Michi loves clover. Um, I would research any wild plants before you feed it to them. <laughs> Except recently, Michi has been eating random things and I have not been able to catch him. So if he dies, it's 
it's my fault. <laughs> I ate a lot of something that I didn't know today, so... <laughs> um, Bug-wise, I have fed him earthworms. I, I, I'm not too, like, strict on what I feed him, but I don't just feed him whatever I see. I only fed him earthworms because I didn't have any other worms that I knew of, and I know the soil type, and I know what we feed feed our grass. That's the only time when I'm in an emergency if I don't have any other food. And pets pet them doesn't have any food. Then we got a problem. So I wouldn't say make it a staple diet of earthworms, but um yeah. <laughs> what does he buy? He just wants to go sun himself. Say bye to the people and apologize for being fussy. Look at his little belly. Look at his little belly. Oh, what a handsome boy. Oh, what a handsome boy. Like, Mom, do you have to? Do you have to? Do you have to? I like kissing their chin because it's so soft. <laughs> You're just like, oh God, no, not another one. Say hi to the people. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now, okay? Cause like, I need to go to bed. <laughs> this quarantine has been really getting to my brain. So yeah, we're gonna end it here. Thank you to all the people who sent me questions. Y'all suck. <laughs> Thank you to that one person who actually followed what I wanted them to do. So thank you. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.